what happened last night, this is a complete supreme time scientific whooping that the Padres are taking. And that was pretty much guaranteeing that after the game, in the clubhouse, it was going to be quiet. The post-game meal was going to be quiet. Getting on the bus and going back to the hotel was going to be quiet. So when you do that, when you defeat a team that badly, you want them thinking about the game, about how bad it felt. But when you do something like that and you you incite the emotion of a team, as that, that, that bunt did, those guys were no longer thinking about the defeat. They were sitting there in the clubhouse after the game, and they were chirping about how, how they didn't like it. And so it basically united that Padre team that just got their butt kicked. And they'll take that unity into today's game. If you're Bob Melvin, you couldn't have asked for anything better to get, to get your team off of the loss because they're not thinking about it anymore. The old saying in baseball is, let sleeping dogs lie. Don't wake them up. You beat them bad like that, you know, keep them thinking about those bad thoughts that they had getting their butt kicked so badly. But they're not thinking that anymore. So that's, that's the thing that, that – I, I, I hate to see the Giants give back to the to the Padres. Is that unity of thinking? That unity of thinking, you know, of, of being uh, upset, and and it, and it does. It, it it takes the the sting of that bad loss away. And I and I prefer to have them kind of sit mired in that in that bad loss for a little bit. And when you wake them up, they're not doing that anymore.